Good evening from the Southern Scrap Bucket. While I had a chance to, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about brass. Brass, on average, is going to be among one of the highest paying scrap metals you'll come across, if you can come across it. Find it a lot in plumbing. As you can see here, these are valves. Uh, you'll find it sometimes in electrical stuff, like some lamps will be made out of brass. I'll share a link for a video from the Scrap and Pallet Man where he found a brass lamp. So always be aware of that. And they're across some other fields. Um, sometimes you'll find it in gears and things like that. But the reason brass is one of the more expensive or more profitable things to come across is it's made up of two primary things. And one is zinc and the other is copper. And copper is always going to be one of the more expensive things to come across because it has so much so many uses for copper so copper breaks down into you can use it in wiring or plumbing make other things uh, so brass is, a, is an alloy of copper and zinc and currently as a national average brass is about two dollars and five cents a pound so I'm, I'm hoping I've got enough here to make a dollar or two but I, I want to know how much you've got. So last year, year before, I invested in scale. And that's actually for like packaging and postage and things like that. But it does a really good job for what I'm doing and is rated up to 440 pounds, I believe. So this is a very important and useful tool for any scrapper if you do this on a scale similar to what I have or a little bit larger. You don't have to weigh everything out, but on important and expensive items such as these, it might be a pretty good idea to weigh it out. So we're just going to slide it over, and hopefully I can pick it up and not drop it and break the table. And give the, sec the scale a second to adjust, and look at that. 48 pounds. Now we have to take two pounds off of that for the bucket because that's what the average bucket weighs. So that's 46 pounds at $2.05. Let's just average it out to $2 a pound. That is $92. Why is this important to know how much that weighs? Imagine if they came up with 26 pounds instead of 46 pounds. That'd be a big problem. That'd be a lot of money. That would be forty dollars you didn't get so it's always a good idea to have that now that's important to keep in mind that there are several grades of brass there's a yellow brass there's a red brass red brass plays more it has more copper in it and there's yellow brass yellow brass is the next it's kind of one of the more common ones and there's a few other grades and then there's also a grade called irony brass and if it's got anything in it like if you got a piece of this, you got one of these and it's got some steel in it and their nipple or whatever piece of pipe sticking out of it, that's going to degrade the value of it. So it's always important to keep in mind what you got. And I'm not quite sure what these are grayed out as because of the handles. And there's a piece of steel right there, so that might go as irony brass, I'm not sure. But always find out what they're going to pay you for it before you give it over to them. And I always have an idea about how much it weighs. And that'll save you a lot of time, a lot of hassle, and hopefully make you some more money. Because if you know your scale is pretty accurate, and they're shot and something seems off, like way off, you, you don't have to sell your whatever you're selling to the scrapyard. You can go down to the next scrapyard. So that's just a little bitty tidbit, because I had this available. Um... Uh, the more I find out, the more I'll trade off with you. Thank you for tuning in to Southern Scrap Bucket, and I hope you all have a wonderful time. Thank you.